Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Luke. Whoa. Uh, you know, in California and a couple of other states, marijuana has become legal. Yes. Now, it's not recognized by the United States government. No. Uh, however, some states are seeing phenomenal results monetarily because of the cannabis uh, industry. Correct. But what's the fallout from that, Ronnie? A lot more stoned people everywhere you go. A lot more amusement on our part. On this show, we're going to share some really stoned moments from human history on social media, and that's next on Men Are So Smart. Well, hello there. Welcome to our show, Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ronnie. And we appreciate your time today watching. Remember, at any time, you can leave a comment below. Uh, Ronnie and I are very good about getting back to you today. We're talking about some of the most stoned moments in history, in human history. <laughs> the first one, we'll call it the fan of fine art. And here is the post. Okay, help. I'm stoned and want to listen to Africa by Toto, but I can't remember who sings it. <laughs> That's a problem. If you can't remember the name of the artist, even though you just mentioned it. Africa by Toto. Toto. Yeah. Next. All right. This one, The Gentlest Soul. Oh, this should be good. This is touching. Okay. One time I got so high, uh -huh. I opened my door to my room yeah. and it squeaked. Uh -huh. And I thought my door was crying, so I gave it a kiss and said, sorry. I'm sorry. Most stoned moments of all time. Here we go. The Shakespeare of our generation. This is from Beige, China. Beige writes, bitch, I am so high in Trader Joe's, I forgot the word strawberry. So I just said that red bitch with freckles. That's pretty stoned. Uh, and I think we all would all know exactly what he's talking about. Yeah. Oh, you mean strawberries. Strawberries, sure. I yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> Produce. Okay. okay. This one, it's the, they call it the car snitch. Okay. Tell me more. Yeah. So uh, this says, uh, Jason is driving me and I'm sitting passenger. I hella thought the car in your eye was high. <laughs> Passenger high. <laughs> There's a picture of the the HVAC system inside the car and says "Passenger high." Uh, yeah, these people are living amongst us. <laughs> Next up for the dog lover, this is from Jim Leader Kai. He says, "So this lady came in this morning and walked up to the front desk to greet us before gasping loudly and saying, I forgot my dog.'" She forgot to bring her dog with her to the vet. <laughs> it's kind of the reason you're going to the vet. vet. Yeah. Okay, now this one, I'm not sure you have to be high as F to do this. Probably some old people have done it too. Uh -huh. uh, it's called the water bender. So what's the highest thing you've ever done? One time I put a cup of water in the microwave and the cup was too tall uh, to fit in the microwave. So I dumped some water out and tried to put it back in because I thought that would make it fit. Yeah, there was too much water. It had nothing to do with the size of the cup. So dump it out and stick it back in. Oh, you dumbass. You could have put it in sideways. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, would have fit then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next up, the edibles eater. Uh, laughing my ass off. These edibles aren't doing anything. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I saw just a bunch of meanless... Meaningless uh, emojis. Yeah. Uh, this I laughed when I read this one initially. This is the airplane DJ. Okay. <laughs> it says, I'm so high that I forgot I had AirPods in and asked the flight attendant what song they were playing because I liked it. <laughs> You're playing the song. That's all you, you do. You don't really understand Bluetooth, do you? <laughs> Uh, the slipper joke teller. <laughs> uh, no, let's just skip that one okay. here. All right, the mountain climber. Last year, a boy walked into my class 20 minutes late and really high. And my teacher asked him why he was so late. And he said, I don't know. 
I think there were more stairs than usual. <laughs> <laughs> they added a couple over the weekend. You're not paying attention. That could throw you off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one, it's the burrito time traveler. Oh, I got to hear this. Uh, I'm sure sex is great, but have you ever gotten stoned and eaten a burrito alone in your underwear and dozed off in the middle of it and then been startled awake by a loud sound on the TV and so resumed eating your burrito unsure of how many minutes or hours or even days have passed. <laughs> wow, dude, cut down just a little bit. I'll have what that person's having. Yeah, back it down. All right. Um, this is called the problem solver. <laughs> I see the next one I'm doing. I got so high last night, I had to turn down my TV because I couldn't taste my toast. <laughs> That's, again, back it down just yeah, a little bit. It would help. Yep. Uh, let's see. And this one, like I said, uh, I love this one. Uh, I've, I've gone in straight and thought the same thing. But this guy was, he thought it a little bit more. It's the Crestfallen Chips purchaser. Oh, oh no, this sounds sad. Yeah. I saw, and this is from not a high person, but it's him observing a very high person. Just saw a very stoned young man in 7-Eleven look at the selection of chips and sadly say softly, there's too many of you. How do I choose? Because you hate to play favorites. Right. Well, you know those Fritos you that don't are chip flavored. Those are the best. Well, you don't want to hurt any chips. No, feelings. you don't want to let a, cheese, a chip down. No. And when the chips are down, <laughs> you know what can happen. The sandwich savant. The lady at the sandwich shop today was like, that'll be 420, love. Would you like it toasted? And I nodded and said, blaze it. And the guy working the sandwich toaster lost control. <laughs> blaze it, baby. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Sun, this is the sunglasses inside guy. Okay. Got so high, I had to put sunglasses on inside my house because my phone was too bright. Well, sure. That's legit. Yeah, you, it's not like you could adjust I it. Yeah, I don't you think... Should. Yeah, that's not that high after all, really, huh. when you think about it. Uh, the amateur artist. I was sitting in the dark and tried taking a video of a funny scene on TV. But for some reason, the TV was super tiny on my camera. I zoomed in all the way only to realize the camera was facing me and I was seeing the reflection in my glasses. <laughs> oh. There could be a whole television show just watching stone people. I know. Yep. What would we call it? What uh, network would it be? It would have to be on Comedy Central for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, next up, The Master Planner. I remember lighting a cigarette to try and cover the weed smell. Uh -huh. Mom came home and immediately said, it smells like pot and cigarettes. What were you expecting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're two entirely different smells. And you can smell both pretty readily. One is not going to mask the other. No. But good try. Didn't I? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Um. <laughs> the tallest person alive says... Am I the only one that finds it weird that I can transfer data from my brain to someone else's by opening my mouth and pushing air with vibrations in their direction? Oh. I think we call that talking. Yes. <laughs> it's not a superpower. Better known as... Uh, okay. This last one. Uh, and this hot dog. So okay. we'll have to show this picture. All right. Dab. Drugs are bad. Look at his eyes. This hot dog <laughs> as high as an effing kite. I'd have to agree. The hot dog is high. Yeah, I've never had a high hot dog. Yeah, well, you haven't lived. I know. Yeah. Some people would say I've li lived a sheltered life. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Those are some iconic moments <laughs> of people being Those high people be AF. high AF. Yes. And we hope you've enjoyed that short show today. Uh, if you have any of your own, yeah. we'd be thrilled to hear them. Or someone else's that you screenshot or something. Yes, or if you yeah, you see somebody else that's high AF. You know, 
that's why we have these people in the world, the stone people, <laughs> so we can have fun watching them. Thank you. You bet. Appreciate that. All right. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We'll see you on the next episode, if we're not stoned, of Men Are So Smart. <laughs>